Once upon a time, we observe a university, where a senior professor is teaching his class, and his assistant is also sitting here. These people are teaching their class, about the changes in plants. All the students sitting here are taking pictures of the board, so that they can revise their notes later. But a girl sitting here, Leo, instead of taking pictures of the lecture, starts taking pictures of the assistant. Because this girl, Leo, likes that assistant. This girl has just come to this university, so she doesn't have the courage to confess in front of the assistant that she likes him. Meanwhile, a friend of Leo shows her mobile to her, in which a student has died in a bad way. It seemed as if a lot of plants were inside his body. Because he is completely green. On the other hand, we also see some police officers, who are taking pictures of the dead student. Whereas here, as soon as the class ends, Leo goes to the assistant and gives him a plant gift. And in the end, in fear, she says that she likes him. But the assistant denies her. He says you are a student and I am a teacher. There can be no such relation between us. Leo comes out disappointed and says, while talking to her friend that no one has ever rejected me. Who is he to reject me? Leo's friend takes care of her and tells her to have a little courage. And they start dancing to a song, so that their mood can be refreshed. Whereas the assistant standing at the window, whose name is Jung, was watching them dancing. And he starts smiling a lot inwardly. After a while, when Leo's friend goes to her room, she starts looking at her face in the mirror. Because a pimple was coming out of her face, but it was not a normal pimple. Instead, it looked like a plant was growing from her face. A plant was coming out. In a state of anxiety, she immediately covers her face with makeup. On the other hand, now we see the professor, and his assistant Jung. Who according to their normal routine, are sitting in their office, the professor gives him something to drink. As soon as the assistant Jung drinks it, he immediately falls unconscious. Meanwhile, the professor keeps a modern pot in front of him. In which a plant is placed, whose roots are glowing a lot. He extracted a special liquid from it, and filled it with an injection. Put it in the assistant's hand. The professor is doing an illegal experiment here, in which he wants to see if the plant can grow inside the assistant's body. That's why he has injected this liquid inside him. But when the result comes on the computer, the result is that the matching degree is 0%. That is, his body cannot match the liquid at all. So he gets disappointed. And the professor leaves the plant and his assistant Jung and disappears from there. On the other hand, we see Leo, who is calling her friend from her room. But she doesn't come out. She asks again and again what happened to you, but she refuses with some excuse that I can't come out. So Leo doesn't disturb her much, and starts drawing a picture. This picture is of the same assistant Jung, because his house is right in front of her house. She is making a picture of him on the canvas by looking at him. Now we see the scene of the girl's hostel, where a girl is taking a bath. Meanwhile, the shower where she was under, comes under the control of a plant. That is, the plant starts wrapping around the shower, and as soon as she looks up, the water immediately turns green. Because of this, she doesn't know anything, and she starts screaming. Here Leo had completed the painting, and she was going to impress the assistant Jung, and will give him the painting. When she goes and knocks on the door of his room, no one opens the door from there, because the assistant was unconscious in the professor's office. Anyway, after a while he comes to his senses. He sees what happened to me, but he doesn't remember anything, and he picks up the same plant, and starts coming back to his room. In a little while, Assistant Jung, also comes back to his house. Here they talk a lot, about some happiness and some anger. Apart from this, the assistant also tells, that he used to love a girl. Who was also his class fellow, but she was offered a job in some country and she went there. This girl Leo gets very jealous, and starts going from there. However, the assistant interrupts her. He says, wait, I like you too. That's why I have some of your pictures on my computer. But we can't make any relation because I am a teacher and you are a student. So Leo says, okay fine, when I complete my graduation, then we can go out somewhere, and we can get married. And assistant Jung also agrees to this. That's why the assistant gifts Leo the same plant, which he picked up from the professor's office, and brought back. Because in these people's culture, gifting a plant is considered a very good way. Which shows that you are very serious. You take good care of each other. Then they can also be normal roses, or any normal plant. Leo comes back to her room while taking the plant. Here she is watering the plant, because by mistake, because of the leaves of the plant, she has a cut on her finger. She is also worried that because of the leaves of the plant, how this could happen. But still, she wraps a bandage on her finger. Here she calls her friend again. But her friend still doesn't answer. She was still hiding and wasn't coming closer to her. Leo also ignores her and sleeps. 
As soon as night falls, the plant starts glowing. As soon as the branches of this plant pass through the ground and came to Leo's bed and completely wrap her, but Leo suddenly wakes up and realizes that this was just a dream. Anyway, she looks at her friend's bed. From her bed, some green liquid was falling. She slowly comes forward. As soon as she goes to her area and removes the curtain of the bed, her friend's dead body comes in front of her. She was killed, and plants were coming out of her body. There were a lot of plants growing on her back. And as soon as she sees this, Leo starts screaming. She was very scared soon the police get this news. And the police start their investigation. Jung also comes to meet Leo, if she is fine. And here the police show Jung the plant. Do you know anything about this plant? Because Jung and the professor is missing for a long time. They used to study plants and teach students about plants. That's why the police are asking for expert advice. But when he looks at the plant, he says that I have never seen such roots or plants in my life. On the other hand, Leo is still with the police, and among the people around, she sees the assistant Jung's girlfriend, whom he used to love in the past, she sees her standing. Her name is Shu. On the other hand, the university is announcing that we are going to close the university for a few days. We are going to put a lockdown, because some students have a strange virus inside them. And it was also announced that any student, any teacher, and anyone in the university, will not leave the university without permission, here when Leo and Jung are coming out. Leo again dreams and begins to hallucinate that the plants have taken over all the students living there. All the students have plants on their necks. Plants have come on their faces. As if all the plants are growing inside the person but she immediately regains consciousness, and she takes care of herself again. Because it was just a dream, she was just hallucinating while the news is coming on TV, that it is necessary to catch the professor. Because he is on the run, and he has injected the virus into many students. Because of this, the virus is spreading rapidly. Anyway, when Leo goes to the washroom, she removes the bandage, which was previously fixed because of a cut from a plant. When she sees it, the plant grows on her finger. She is very scared, but still, she takes out the plant from her other finger. Meanwhile, some people wearing masks come here and tell assistant Jung, Leo and others to go to the gym so that you all can be tested. Who is sick, who is fine, and this virus can be saved from spreading. Seeing these masked men, all the students start getting scared. Because all the students are being called to the gym. Everyone was more worried than before about what is happening. Assistant and his friend, when they are going to the gym, his old friend comes in front of him, whose name is Shu, whom he used to like. She informs them that she is employed by a major pharmaceutical company, the professor who has been missing for a long time, she has also worked with. She says that, our experiment was about the changing genes in humans, so that we can save humans from many diseases. But the professor went against his will, and started doing some illegal experiments, and with the help of plants, he started making dangerous deadly viruses. Because the professor was my senior. When I saw all this, I tried to stop him but the professor fired me. So now I am investigating all this. And the scary thing is, earlier he used to work in the lab. But for the last few years, he started experimenting on his own students. Because of this, all the deaths till now, be it your roommate's death, or the boy who died in the beginning or many more. Because the professor put all these viruses in humans, and those whose match was 100% were all killed. The professor Jung you are lucky, because your match was not made and you're at 0%, so the virus did not affect you. In a little while, Leo notices her hand that, all the nerves in her hand, start turning green just like a plant. As the plants are growing in her hands. Now because Leo knew that she was infected, all the students who were wearing masks were checking everyone. So she hides and runs away, and put herself away from them because she knows, if she is caught anything can happen to her. Assistant Jung starts looking for her, and while running he finds her. On the other hand, the masked men catch another girl, who was infected by the virus because the professor did an experiment on her. They try to save her, but unfortunately, the virus kills her while passing from her mouth, and she dies. On the other side, when assistant Jung goes to his room, and sees that Leo is already there, she tells him to stay away from her. She says, look at my hand I am infected by the virus, and my face is turning green. Assistant Jung helps Leo, and says that everything will be fine. In a little while, Leo gets an idea. She opens the emails of her dead roommate, and she realizes that someone is emailing her, and that person used to take her dead roommate to his house. She suspects that that person is the professor, because he took her dead roommate to his house, and injected the virus, because of which the virus spread and she died. It was just their doubt. Meanwhile, the masked men come to the building, and they spray everywhere, so that the impacts of the virus can be eradicated. They knock at every door, 
when they knock at their door, they didn't open the door. Because they are afraid, as soon as they see Leo, they will recognize that Leo is also infected, and they will experiment, and no one survived in their survival experiment to date, so they don't open the door. But Leo was scared, and accidentally drops a glass full of water. Because of this, the masked people outside, hear a noise and they go inside, and take them to the same gym, where all the students were told to gather, where they were treating people. By testing here, it is found that Leo is infected. The doctors and the masked people, inject her with some medicines, so that the virus can't spread or could be stopped, and they take her to another room, while the assistant Jung, screams and shouts to leave her, but the masked people catch him with their hands. After some time, when all the doctors meet each other, they find out that the virus is dangerous, like it affects the brain, and damages the nervous system, but it is not something, that spreads before coughing or touching, but until it is injected inside you, it is not a threat to anyone like a poison until it is injected, it is not dangerous for your life. The doctors are relieved after knowing this because they know that until the plant is injected into the body, it is not a threat. But Shu tells the doctors, who was investigating the case from the start, that Leo is different from the others, because her body structure and genetics are of such types which generate a new form of the virus, which is completely different from all the other viruses. It means whatever you've seen earlier is nothing, but because of Leo, it is going to be a big threat. But all the senior people sitting there, who are doctors, don't take Shu's words seriously. They say that it is just your illusion, and nothing like that is going to happen. And the lockdown that you put in the university, and had locked everything, they remove it. So that everyone can live their normal lives. The assistant Jung meets Shu and they decide, that they will go to the place where Leo's friend, used to go with the stranger man to his house, because they had a doubt that their senior professor must be hiding somewhere. And he must have the cure of everyone. So they reach the house, and see that there are plants everywhere, all kinds of plants. Even those that they had never seen. Here the professor was sitting on his chair. He was not moving at all. As soon as they come close and touch him, a very big fly trap plant comes out of his back and tries to eat them, and was about to kill them. But because they quickly turned back, they were saved, and Shu turns her lighter on, throws it towards the plant and burns it. And because the plant came out of the professor, both the professor and the plant burn and die. Here Shu and the assistant check the professor's computer. They found whose body this virus matched with, it enters his body and begins to grow. And that plant is not going to die, and it will keep on growing. So much so that it will cover the entire neighborhood, and the entire city, and the entire country. It will keep on growing and it will never stop. It can't be ended as well. And if someone's body matches 0% then that person, will be saved from the virus forever. And this was the reason, that when the professor put the virus inside the assistant Jung, the virus was not matching with his body. That's why no change has occurred to his body yet. No virus came inside. Here Shu starts checking the professor's computer, and all the data that the professor has stored in his computer, she starts sending it to her company. The assistant stops her, because if she sends the data to someone else, he will use it negatively. And what the professor did someone else will do the same. But Shu does not stop here, and sprays it on the Jung and makes it unconscious. After completing her data, when Shu was about to go from there, the same plant that Shu burnt, a branch comes out and goes inside her neck, and kills her. So Shu burnt the plant but the plant was not dead. It was growing and it was getting more dangerous. And it killed Shu. On the other hand, in the gym, we see Leo whose body genetics were 100% matching with the virus. So the virus can easily grow inside her body. And as we see a lot of plants come out of Leo's body, which were not ending at all, and immediately the whole gym was full of plants, which came out of Leo's body, and all the doctors with masks were helping her, were also victims of these plants. In a little while, when Jung comes back to his university, he sees plants everywhere and everyone is dead, but he still does not know where Leo is. He begins to find her, and in the next scene, we see the whole city is full of plants. There are plants on every building, there are plants on every road, after a few days, Assistant Jung comes back to the same gym. Because he has not found Leo yet. And he is still looking for Leo. Because he started loving her. And here he sees the same painting. Which Leo had made for him. He smiles after seeing it. And starts remembering Leo. And the film story ends here.